Nisrin's got her hand up as well, so that's no problem. Nisrin, did you have something you'd like to say? Yeah, uh, actually, because I put day six, but there's no day six, and I just re- wrote in day six, all capital, you die, exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite an extreme underlining of that fact. Now, and, and you can make them as long as you want, right? Just like vectors. Um, if you've got three vectors here, like all these three vectors, um, delta H2, delta H4, delta H3, if you add them all up together, that's the same as doing delta H1. The thing to remember, especially for us British people, is we always use a lot of words in English, don't we, if we're asking for something. Um, but in Spanish, it, they're much more to the point. So we say, you know, oh, would you be able to, or would you mind? Spanish is just like, me trae. Like, it's not considered rude in the same way. It wasn't really that good because in my old school, I went to um, a British Filipino, sc- British Filipino school and the education there, it wasn't at all very good. The classes were very packed. I think that was one of the main reasons why it was such a terrible school. I'm going to be talking to you today about how I became a writer, uh, about some of the books I've published, how I became children's laureate and what that means, and hopefully sharing some ways that you guys can create some poems. I'm hoping you guys will help me create some poems. And at the end, there'll be time for you to ask any questions you might have. So do be thinking whilst I go through today's session about anything you want to know about, if you want to know about being a writer, about being children's laureate, about books, about publishing, anything you want to know, you can uh, ask me at the end. Thank you so much, Matt, Dick, Mr. Matt Dickinson, for um, lecturing us on the Amazon. Um, personally, the Amazon is a wonderful place because you can see so much wildlife there. Yeah, it's just so cool. It's, it's so biodiverse and um, there were so many interesting facts. Um, How important do you think architecture is for society and climate change? I am actually very passionate about the topic of climate change. It's what drew me to architecture, to, um, you know, as a course in um, university. I think that architects, right now, um, a large percentage of um, CO2 emissions come from the process of, of building buildings and industrial level um, projects. So I reckon quite a lot of people probably will start to apply um, from this September um, and there are quite a lot of courses in the UK and the quite a lot of university and colleges do offer degree level programs as well. So what is important is normally we suggest people to think about um, what's your interest. So for example, you can focus on like history or maybe chemistry, biology, if that's the passion you have. Timber Chum School is an amazing school and helped me with my academics, boosted my confidence and helped me with teamwork. Firstly, classes are held on Microsoft Teams, which is a platform that allows for the replication of a classroom. 
Classes are held as a call where students can join, see and even interact with their peers and teachers. All lessons are recorded and posted at the end of the lesson for those who may not be able to attend. Furthermore, homework can be set through the assignments function Teams has going that allows for easy tracking of students' work and progress. And the class notebook is the final main function that we'll use and it's a place where students can fill their work and a teacher can see exactly what they're doing in real time as if they're there with the student. And we have a variety of any studies here coming from computer science to law Anything you're interested, I guarantee you, we've got it and we've got the best teachers on hand to help you. Not only have they developed an incredible rapport with their tutors, but they've made many, many very good friends amongst their peers as well. That, now that actually was the initial concern of ours, but it was very, very quickly dispelled because children today live in the digital world with an ability to communicate across great distances and indeed continents, something that when I was their age, I could only have dreamt about. There are no internationally focused schools, high schools within two hours drive of here. And we definitely wanted the kids to be able to look outwards and feel comfortable in whichever place, in whichever conversation they find themselves in the future. Um, the teachers are very experienced, devoted and incredibly kind hearted. Um, they have an unparalleled passion for their profession and truly care for the development of their students. You know, she was getting okay grades, she was getting good grades, but she wasn't really feeling like she was learning anything. And I think that's the difference now. She feels like she, her, her workload is manageable, she has good communication, she's very organized, it's all very clear.